I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they kill them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah, who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law! You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and Pharisees began to act with hostility toward him and to interrogate him about many things, for they were plotting to catch him at something he might say. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. As Catholics, we confess that Jesus is truly the way, the truth, and the life. But still, many of Catholics, even the whole world, uh, do not understand the plan of, for God's creation. We are not confident uh, with our faith. And the challenge for us today is to capture the essence of the faith, to capture the faith. Uh, because as we can see in the gospel, we, we in the church, we have all those laws, we have all those teachings, uh, the catechesis, theology. We have a lot of dogmas in the church, and we can be confused. But that's why we have the church. That's why we have magisterium to be on the same page. Because we as a, a faithful without the theological preparation, without studies, we can be lost in the church teaching. We can be lost uh, in, the, in, in the church law, in, in, in the catechism, even when we are reading the Bible. And that's why we have the church. That's why we have the magisterium, the pope, the bishops, that we I can understand and be uh, on the same page. And even, even now, we have a lot of confusion in the world and even among the church. That's why we have to pray to the Holy Spirit. And when Pope Benedict became a pope, he wrote the shortest uh, letter uh, when he started his pontificate was God is love. And he summarized in the beautiful way the essence of our faith that Jesus Christ is a love. And this is the simple statement, but we have to go deeper. And when we realize that he is the love, that he is the fullness of love, then we can be better to others. Then we can say uh, that Everything is sin because He is love. When He is love for us, then the abortion is a grave sin for us. When He is love for us, the gossiping is a sin. When He is love for us, whenever we are away from Him, we are trying to be back as soon as possible 
because He is love. And that's why and we have been chosen by the Father, by Jesus Christ, and we can receive that spiritual blessing uh, from Jesus Christ, and then we can share that with others, and finally in, eternal, in eternity. So God wants us to share uh, in the holiness uh, of our life. We have to be close to our Lord Jesus Christ, and sometimes we are rejecting him by sin, by our own will. Uh, but he, that's why God sent our Lord Jesus Christ to be the free gift for us, to restore our life uh, through his body and blood. And that's why only in the Eucharist we can uh, find that uh, strength and power in the confession, we can find the forgiveness of sins. We have all those tools. Because Jesus Christ is the one who delivered us from slavery. As he delivered the Hebrews from, from slavery in Egypt. So the words deliver means is handed over. And Jesus was handed over to us. And we are experiencing that every Mass when Jesus Christ is handed over to us, that we can receive him in the fullness of his glory. And that's why we need faith. Because whenever we are approaching the communion, we need faith. Because we have to proclaim amen. That this is true. And the priest is saying the body of Christ we are, we, our response is amen, which is like, I truly believe that this is the Lord. I truly believe that this is his body. But then, when we truly believe, we have to go out and put faith into the action. We have to live our faith, not just in the church, because it's so easy to live our faith in the church because we are all in the same pages it's easy to worship in the church, but it's very hard to be the sign for others outside the church. When the world, when the media, uh, the, the Satan is trying to change our minds, uh, they are trying to show us different truths. And then it's so hard to be opposite to the world. But this is our mission, and that's why we need Jesus Christ uh, in, in our lives, in our hearts, to be strong in our faith. Amen.